Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to perform a disk check on Windows 7. Uh, now the, the reasons why you'd be doing this is um, if your system's been playing up, you're crashing or freezing, uh, application's not working properly, um, and if your hard drive is constantly accessing, uh, which therefore th slows down your computer. Okay, so uh, any of those problems uh, can be fixed by performing a disk check. So we'll get straight into it. Uh, bottom left hand corner you see the start icon, click that and then go to computer menu item. Now you see a list of uh, all your hard drives there or partitions. Um, the one we're after is the local disk C. All right? uh, for 90% of you it will be C. Um, if you want to make sure that it's the Windows install drive or the system drive um, you have a look at the icon and look for the Windows logo on that drive's icon and that's your system drive. Okay, so once you find that we want to select it and right click on it and then click properties and then click the tools tab and then under error checking you'll see check now we want to click that and then we want to check both of those boxes there and then click the start button. Now because uh, you're logged into Windows, uh, Windows can't perform the, um, the disk check uh, in that state. So what we do is we schedule a, di a disk check for the next restart and then we, we just manually restart it right straight away. So we get click schedule a disk check, click OK, close that and then go to restart. All right, And then that will uh, boot into a, a new screen which is the error checking screen and um, start to automatically perform the uh, the disk check okay so this is the uh, the disk check screen and uh, if you do want to cancel it you can uh, cancel out but uh, obviously you want to leave that run if you're having issues and uh, depending on the size of your hard drive it can take anywhere from uh, 30 minutes up to uh, three four hours uh, Windows 7 is usually pretty good though um, and it will depend on the speed of your drive too okay so perhaps just uh, go and do something else for a while and uh, let it run its course uh, and that will automatically fix uh, any errors so you don't actually need to do anything and it'll bring you back up to the login screen when it's finished okay so any questions or comments leave them below and I'll catch you next time guys cheers